Yo, I just want to do a, a quick, real quick, real quick, quick. Cause you know, y'all sensitive about the God topic and and all of that, which I really don't care. Uh, cause it's the truth. The truth don't come beautified, sparkly, slimy. It come any kind of way. So. I start off with these contradicting uh, verses from the Bible. Thou shall not kill. Right? Now we know this. We hear this shit pretty much. This is like, this is the one that just sticks in your brain. Sometimes. This is what God told them, told, told the people. The, the warriors or whatever, whoever he was talking to. Sayeth the God of Israel, put every man his sword by his side and slay every man, his brother, his companion, and his neighbor. Now, if we went around doing that type of shit, it'll be shit burning down every second because we just running ruthless, just doing whatever whatever we want to do. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure some people got excuses for this shit that's wrote in this in this in this book, right? But y'all don't know that. The, the college, the first school ever that Europeans ever had was called the Collegio del Santa Cruz, uh, Lake Laco. This is when they was converting all of the Indians, what they was calling them. They was converting all of the Indians to believe in a Catholic church or, a, or a, to believe in actually fucking educating them on their sick ass ways. So that's one. Oh, and the Collegio de Santa Cruz is what, um, Santa Cruz is who y'all calling Santa Claus to, today. So when you got your kids believing in Santa Claus and, and, and stuff like that, it's just the Holy Cross. That's what Santa Cruz is, Santa Claus, Holy Cross. Two, the first angel sounded and there followed hell and fire mingled with blood and cast upon the earth, and the third part of trees was burnt up, and all green grass was burnt. This is Revelation chapter 8, verse 7. And then it was said, it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads or in their heads. My mistake, you know, Christians are gonna crucify me for, for saying on their foreheads. It's just any word I just mispronounced, they're going to say I did it wrong. But how can y'all follow? I just, y'all can answer in the comments or whatever y'all going to do. But I just want to know how you follow something that's contradicting and expect not to live a contradicting life. 
Because have you ever did some contradicting shit? It puts you at a halt, like, it slow you down. It just gets you caught up. <laughs> Number three, I only got six of them, but I'ma just, you know. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord. Proverbs chapter 12, verse 22. Now, can we agree that the place we walking on, well, not nah, the, the America has just been built on lies. Our whole history is a lie. That's because it's men telling it. They got like real ego problems. Um, they don't want to look bad. But if you killing a bunch of motherfuckers and then throwing the rug over it and then like, nah, I ain't. Eventually, that shit gonna start stinking. Anyway. The Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these prophets. And the Lord hath spoken evil concerning the first kings. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all gonna have to look that one up, though. It's, uh, matter of fact, concerning thee. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. This is, uh, 1 Kings, chapter 22, verse 23. That right there should just go to show you, like, the men who wanted to even rule at first lied to do so. We had kings or chiefs or queens that, uh, or mistresses or whatever we want to call them. We had them people that was already in place, in their own place. The people that got ran out of there and converted into this Roman Catholic way of thinking already had their own cosmology that was following. So for you to come in and tax food and tax life for these people you plan a certain type of higher power they telling us how they did this in this book and y'all praising the book and it's giving it more energy for generations ahead to fail Number four, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation. <laughs> Exodus chapter 20, verse 5. The contradiction is the Lord is good to all. Psalms chapter 145 verse 9. I'm going to just go to 5. No man hath seen God at any time. John 118. Pause. So when people are saying that they seen God in their dreams. Do you not know how animation works? Huh? Do you not know how animation works? If I if I draw something 
if I draw something and you 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 actually capture that right you captured like uh, right now I'm walking I see an arrow pointing straight I get it right boom I got it so now when I go to sleep I can have a dream about this arrow that I just seen because now I got all depictions of how it could be I got the animation I got the characteristics I got all of it so now I can dream about it That's a cognitive process. And y'all lying. Y'all lying about what y'all seeing. What y'all... Y'all... And six, this is the last one. For every man, we could have went to like 50. But I just wanted to just like shoot holes through it real quick, you know. Cause we, actually people who want the truth actually been doing this for years. And they like, you gotta go about it in a, a scholarly way. Nah, man, we ain't going, nah. The, the truth don't need none of that scholarly shit. It just need to be told. To all you motherfucking people talking about the presentation and all of this shit, man, that's nothing. That's nothing. You either soak it up or you don't. For every man, six, every man bear his own burden. Galatians chapter six, verse two. The contradiction is bear ye one another's burden and so fulfill the law of Christ. Galatians chapter 6 verse 2. So it's telling you to be selfish and not be selfish. And I know it's going to be Christians like, come on man, you know. You know what he's talking about, man. You know how. Man, these, thir these 13 men or however men wrote this damn book. They was in the, the, the College of Santa Cruz, man. They had, <laughs> they had text on. Actually, they didn't. This was the code that they was coming up with. To keep you falling down the abyss and not come up out and then your whole life will be a whole reincarnation. You keep coming to a place where you just a, a robot and you can't manifest nothing better because you're a, a copy. It is some shit wrong with being a copy. Cause it ain't no innovation there. You doing the same thing you been seeing done and then got the nerve to say, man, I'm tired of this. I'm gonna do something different. No, you ain't. But uh, to do something different, the whole machine gotta be different. The whole train of thought has to be different. Healthy thoughts, people, healthy thoughts.